Okay, so in this last video about the Antacid Titration Lab, I want to walk you through an example of how to do the actual calculation for this lab once you obtain all the data. Okay, so the example is shown in this question. It says, uh, let's say you measure out 0.326 grams of antacid, you dissolve it in a certain amount of HCl, and you record the volume and the concentration of the HCl. And remember that the whole point of this experiment is you add uh, way too much H HCl, right, to the antacid, so it will completely neutralize the antacid. Whatever that excess HCl is, is going to be neutralized with some sodium hydroxide. In this case, the volume and the concentration of the sodium hydroxide is also given to you. And let's say the antacid costs $5.99 per 100 tablet, and each of those tablets weighs 650 milligrams what's the cost per equivalent of active ingredient okay now just to uh, remind you again the meaning of that word equivalent equivalent is something that we use to measure how much active ingredient we have in our antacid and remember that the reason we do that is because the active ingredient might be more than one compound so it might be two or three different weak bases so we can't just use number of moles to quantify the amount of active ingredient but we have to use this uh, unit called the equivalent, which is basically the same as the number of moles of HCl that's neutralized, right? So one equivalent is equal to one mole of HCl neutralized. So let me go back to this uh, concept again that I talked about in the first video about what, uh, how we're going to do this experiment. Remember that uh, I said we have two bases in this experiment. We have the bases coming from the antacid, and then we have sodium hydroxide as our second base, okay? And we have one acid in the experiment. That acid, HCl, is neutralized by these two bases. And what we're interested in is figuring out how much of the antacid base we have, okay? We know how much HCl we have. We know how much NaOH we have. So to figure out how much antacid we have, we just need to subtract the number of moles of HCl that we have from the number of moles of NaOH we use to neutralize that HCl, right? Because the total HCl is going to be equal to the sum of these two. So then this one would just be equal to that minus this one. So that's what's written right here. And remember that I just said we're not going to use number of moles to quantify the amount of bases in antacid, but we're going to use this unit called the equivalence. So the number of equivalents of antacid is the number of moles of HCl minus number of moles of NaOH. Using the numbers that were given in the question, uh, we can calculate the two number of moles. Remember that number of moles is just multiplying the volume times the molarity. So that's what I did in both of these. And I used the unit millimoles instead of moles here just to make my life a little easier in the calculation. So I have this many millimoles of HCl, this many millimoles of NaOH, subtract them and I get this many milli equivalence okay so again equivalence is the unit we're going to use to quantify how much antacid we have so it's milli equivalence or you can also write it as 1.581 times 10 to the minus 3 equivalence remember milli is just the same as 10 to the minus 3 once i know how many equivalents of active ingredient i have or how many active uh, equivalents of bases i have in the antacid i need to figure out how much i'm paying for that equivalence okay so to do that I want uh, my N unit to look something like this. How much dollars am I paying per equivalent of active ingredient? So to do this, I basically need to uh, do a little dimensional analysis. The information I have right now tells me that I have a certain number of equivalents in a certain gram of tablet. Remember, I weigh a certain amount of a certain grams of tablet at the beginning and I calculated that many equivalents coming out from that gram. To, in order to convert this to dollars per equivalent, I would have to multiply that number by how much it costs per gram of tablet, which is an information that's also given in our question. Just real quickly, going back to the question, it tells you that it costs $5.99 per 100 tablets. Each tablet weighs this much. That means that I can convert all of these information to how many dollars am I paying per gram of tablet? Here's how I do that. I take the number of uh, the cost per 100 tablet and then multiply by one tablet for 650 milligrams or 0.65 grams. 
you can see that after I do this multiplication, my unit becomes dollars per gram. And then from my equivalence calculation earlier that I just showed you, I have this many equivalents. That comes from this much tablet that I use, 0.326 grams. So if I multiply all of these quantities together using dimensional analysis, my final unit would look like dollars per equivalent. If I do that, I get $19 per equivalent. Okay, so that tells you that you're really paying $19 for uh, every equivalent of active ingredient. Notice that that number is different than the $599 because the $599 is really how much you're paying for a certain amount of tablet. Now remember, in a tablet, you don't necessarily have one equivalent. You might have very, very little uh, equivalents of active ingredients. So that's why the cost is so much cheaper for the tablet. But here, what you're trying to figure out is how much do I pay for the thing that I'm, that I'm buying this uh, tablet for, which is for the active ingredient. So now I want you to work through the problem that I'm showing you here. It's basically the same type of calculation. The data looks slightly different because this is actually how you're going to collect the data. So you have to do a little calculation for the volume by subtracting the burette final minus initial. But aside from that, everything else would be identical to what we just did. And here at the end, I give you the cost information. So it says in this case, 549 for 72 tablets. Each tablet weighs 2.29 grams. And I just want you to answer that first question there, which is what is the cost per equivalent of active ingredient for this particular antacid that we have, okay?